guys, Jan Pika is 13 and today's video is going to be another wig video. Oh my gosh, I love these. I love wigs so much because they allow me to see myself with how my hair would look like if I were to color it or cut it a certain way and without having to actually cut it or dye it, you know? Because cutting your hair, dyeing your hair can be really really expensive so without further ado subscribe down below by hitting that red subscribe button please 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 make that red subscribe button gray hit that post notification bell button right next to the subscribe button so that way you're notified every single time i upload give this video a huge thumbs up for more hair related videos and share this video with your friends and family in case you saw this wig and you really liked it and you want to pass it along to your friends or family and yeah, so let's get on with the video. But before further ado, check the description box down below. I always have a whole bunch of links. I always have discount codes, discount links. I'm always writing updates there. So now we can get on with the video. So I have another callus wig right here. So this is the callus 100% premium synthetic hair wig. I have another video using um, a callus hair wig. Um, I'm gonna put it in the eye over here or over here. Um, I think I should make a playlist to like all my wig videos because like I have quite a few wig videos now. And yeah, so that way you guys can binge watch me applying wigs and seeing how they look on me. I'm not gonna lie guys. So like you know how they say to put your wig on like a, a mannequin head? I'm too cheap to buy a mannequin head. So I just store them in the bag and they're perfect. Should you get a mannequin head? I mean, I guess you should to always keep your wig in perfect conditions. But I guess I'm just good at putting my wigs away like flat like this. Like I just lay my wig like this like flat and like they don't get knotted or anything because they're really super soft hair guys like i promise you guys like i wish that i could like put the wig like here like you'd be like here touch it touch it how soft it is so the back says that it's a fashion lightweight natural and comfortable Woo! okay guys so this is what i really love about this company that they provide you with a free wig cap i tried putting on a wig one time without a wig cap don't do it you're just literally gonna hurt your hair and like your head like it's gonna get all knotted up like your hair and like the clips on the wig to the sides because some wigs come with clips it's just gonna knot up and then you're just gonna have a headache and it's gonna hurt like it's like pulling out like a really knotted piece of hair when you don't wear a wig cap so always wear a wig cap i trust me if you don't wear a wig cap it's gonna be a very disastrous application and removal of wig. I try to only ever get wigs that have bangs because bangs cover your hairline and you're not able to see the mistakes. So not only do they come with one wig cap, the pack comes with two pieces. So it's a deluxe wig cap, superior quality, one size fits all, thin stocking fabric for wig wears, polyester material. It's world's number one brand. And I actually believe this because another wig brand that I've gotten, they also use the same wig cap brand. So I want to assume if like this is a second company that also uses the same branded wig caps, then their claim for being world's number one brand is probably really true because like, you know. I've seen this before. Like I said, I've never personally bought a wig cap before. I've never gone to Sally's. I've never gone to Amazon and like typed in wig cap and like see which one's the one that pops up the most. But if two companies back to back are sending me this wig cap, then I want to assume that this really is world's number one brand wig cap. And yay! So you're getting quality at a really good price. So here is the beautiful wig and it comes protected. I keep this thing right here, the hairnet, because the hairnet prevents it from like getting like all like messy inside the bag. And that way I'm able to store it in the bag without like the hair getting like bad. You know what I mean? So always keep the hairnet. Keep the hairnet, especially if you're like me. Like I said, if you don't plan on getting a mannequin head like me, keep your hairnet. Okay, so let me pull out the wig. Just look at how soft it is guys like, i could brush this all day guys and like it's just like like you know how like fidgets are like a trend to just be like you know popping like little puppets you're just like doo, 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 doo. i could do this all day like just like 
brush the wig out because that's how soft it is guys like it's so so soft and look at how like i'm brushing out the curls guys and the curls don't like uncurl look at how beautiful guys so like you don't gotta worry about like having to like curl it or like over time like the curls dying out because like look guys like i'm literally brushing look 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 and the curls don't straighten it out and i love it how like this is like straight and this curls like who doesn't want hair like this like straight in the top but then like curly in the bottom and it doesn't like frizz or anything like that and like i've always guys like this has been my dream hair color a nice brown i feel like i've tried so many times with like boxed hair dyes to get like a brown color but like since i'm nowhere shape or form an actual hairstylist yeah like it always ends up coming out like a really bad orangey blonde even if i was trying to go for brown hair i don't know we end up with like orangey blonde hair whenever i use box ties it's really rare to see with someone with actually brown hair i don't remember like ever seeing someone with like brown hair like i remember like in movies probably what i do is every time that i'm gonna install the wig i split my hair in two my biggest tip when installing a wig is do you really want to spend four to ten hours with like super tight braids under a wig and then not being able to remove it because you know like once you're out and about your house you can't like really like take off your wig and like reinstall it and you know like you can but like you just have to be lucky enough to find like a public bathroom i guess or, or like you know how it's kind of like you know like taking wigs i've mastered down installing a wig in like less than 10 minutes now i would say but either way, like, it's just too much work because you do need a mirror. Like, I probably do it in 10 minutes because I'm here at home, you know, like, I have a mirror. I'm able to fix it up. I'm able to see how the back looks like. Meanwhile, like, if I were out and about in public, it's not like I could just, like, easily take off my wig and reinstall it in 10 minutes again because, like, I have no clue how the back would look like. Um, I don't have, like, a mirror to, like, for me to turn around and see, like, what I did wrong, like, where I could fix it and all that stuff. So, yeah, guys, you just have to think of it that way. Install it tight enough where it's gonna last all day without, like, getting loose or, like, you having to, like, fear, like your wig falling off you know flying off because you know i don't use glue i've never had that incident before so that's what i'm saying like install it tight enough but not super tight because you gotta remember you don't know when you're gonna be coming back home so and you don't want to be like really uncomfortable so as you guys saw i did my two braids so the first bobby pin that i'm going to be putting is on my bangs if you don't have bangs then you don't have to put them on here but I put them on here because I have bangs and then they're gonna be like falling down and then you're gonna be able to see like my bangs through my wig and no, you want people to think that that is our real hair. <laughs> that is the intentions of the wig. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be turning around. Well, I put two just to so like, since my bangs are on the longer side. So I'm gonna be grabbing my braids and I'm gonna be crossing them like zigzag. This doesn't have to be perfect, guys. Like the wig cap is gonna be securing. I'm gonna put like one bobby pin here. If you feel like the bobby pin is too tight, don't be scared and like move it around until you find like a really comfortable position where you don't really like feel the bobby pin under your head. So I have like a little alfalfa right here. I call these my little alfalfa hairs because you guys remember the movie The Little Rascals? The little hair that alfalfa has right there. So yeah, that's my alfalfa hair. But I'm just going to be simply pinning that down and we're good to go. So now we're going to be doing the same to this side. I'm going to be crossing this way and then I'm going to be pinning down my hair. I love guys how these wig caps maintain their shape like they don't get super stretched out and like they don't get like loose where it's just like oh man I can't use this anymore well like with my experience using this brand of wig caps that comes with the wig like they haven't torn on me and I wear bobby pins as you guys know like bobby pins they're not like super pointy but they are pointy to the point where you'd expect like oh it's stocking it's gonna like stab through because you know how like some ladies wear like those leggings that are like this and like you see that they have like rips to the side because they're like really delicate fabrics that tend to rip you would think that that this material is delicate like that but no guys so i really recommend you guys getting callus wigs because they provide you with these really really good wig caps so what i do is i put my hands here and then i stretch it out and then i start from the bottom because the bottom is where like all the braids are, like the most hair is. And then I just like, you know, cover it around on my head. Like make it fit. 
that like a glove. Like I try to put like every hair inside. You see guys? Do not put every single hair inside the wig cap in the front parts. Because, you know, you never know when your wig might start to rise a little bit. And like I said, I do not use glue. So, like, my insulation is probably not the most secure method. But it works for me, you know? And I like how I install my wigs. So, time for the wig installation. So, I wanted to show you how the inside of a wig looks like. This is how the inside of a wig looks like. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to fit all the bottom hair onto my head like this. And like once that I'm able to secure all the braids from the bottom of the wig, then that's when I know like the bottom part is secured. And now I just gotta fix the top now. Oh my goodness guys, I think I found my new favorite wig. Look at how beautiful guys. And I love how beautiful the highlights look. Okay, get it right here. This is so beautiful. Look at how my hair shakes. Oh, this brown looks so beautiful with highlights. The highlights are like a beautiful glow. So thank you so, so very much, guys, for accompanying me to the end of this video. I'll see you very, very soon, my remaining coins, if God permits.